Hey guys, and welcome back to Shimagami Tensei 5. In this episode, we continue our exploration of the Demon King's Castle. And so far, I haven't seen a single court jester or a moat. What's going on with that? This place sucks. But no, uh, I, I, I kind of like it. I kind of dislike it. But I do like the enemy variety we're going to get to see in the third stratum. Aren't we, aren't we in the second stratum already? So yeah, second and third. Why do I feel like there's a fourth? It doesn't matter because we have to focus. We're in a battle against Kin Ki, a golden Oni, who's got calves as hard as gold, but gold is not a hard substance at all. So uh, I guess he's like actually pretty weak. But as far as combat stats go, he hits you really high with physical attacks. I don't like that. Ugh, they stinky. So uh, be careful of that. Certain skills can proc his retaliate skill, but honestly, it shouldn't even matter. The biggest, uh, my god, wow, he's so weak, Jesus Christ. The biggest fear you have here is if he just gets a lucky critical attack on your main character, which can occur, and if it happens multiple times, obviously, you game over, but we're probably not going to see that. Poor guy. Does guy ever stop talking? Oh, my head. Oh, sorry, buddy. I got a lot to say, but, uh, in particular, this segment of the game. Physical attackers that you can recruit are just simply at a power deficit. I mean, other than Yoshitsune, really, everyone else kind of sucks. Thanks for the soda, buddy. I was not sucking up. I'll take it just the same. <laughs> and that sort of extends to our main character, except if you've been getting every Algami skill, which if you've been doing that, hey, you... you see firsthand just how powerful we are. There are a few enemies I uh, want to discuss here, and then once we get those out of the way, I'll toss on the Estoma. My goal here is to actually just clear through the Demon King's castle as quickly as possible. It's uh, not everyone's favorite part of the game, but I got a lot I want to talk about it. And I also want to be that guy for people that are just a wee bit lost. Hey, remember me? It's Pazozo. What, you don't? It's been like uh, 20 episodes. Pazuzu, king of the stinking winds of the- who gives a freak, dude? You couldn't even beat a bunch of mermaids. I mean, he did beat the mermaids. That wasn't the point of the quest, but anyway, he's so weak to ice, in case you forgot his weakness. It's been a little while. It'd be understandable. If you did. And, uh, my gosh, we're really getting our mileage out of Black Frost. We got it. You could potentially get him the second you reach Zone 3 and still be using him. That's nuts. But in case you're curious... He does some nasty status effects, but uh, outside of that, not, not a really big deal. I don't recommend trying to charm him like we did in our first encounter, because, well, we're just beyond status effects. And, ooh, we're getting so close to 53. I, uh, I finally decided we had our giant uh, debate in the last episode. The comment section was an absolute war. Armageddon, really. Hydra or Kukulin. And, well, I decided uh, I'll just make it both. Why, why would I not do that? <laughs> we, we clearly have the Maka lying around. No, I'm just joking, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make them both. But there wasn't really, like, a big debate at all. Most people were just, eh, do, it, do what you want, Johnny, it's fine. I do appreciate that, but, uh, yeah, as far as, like, an actual dungeon goes, this appears to be a very divisive, uh, segment of the game for some and this may be an unpopular opinion, but I do like this style of uh, puzzle. And I know you're gonna like, like, what? How is this a puzzle, bro? You see, you see, you see. But as you can check out from our map, uh, it's a 3D sort of deal. It's way better than the 50/50 doors of previous SMT games, which I cannot stress enough. I love Atlas games, but man, revisiting some of those games and just doing the puzzle completely correct. But then at the end of this winding path, this never-ending maze, you reach a door which leads you to, well, the very start of the maze. My gosh, was not a fan of that, SMT3. I will say that for sure, but uh, I understand, you know. People, uh, people's tolerance for RPGs shift from time to time. Something I've sort of uh, just noticed about the gaming ecosystem, you feel me? Is that just like, r random encounters and how difficult puzzles are shift from era to era. Saying era era is funny because it means something in Japanese. I don't know what it means, but I know it's a word. I'm working on it, okay? 
I got the book you can write in. Child's Guide to Katakana. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> that is true. Can I just share some, like, bit of, like, information? Listen, you know, we're cool. I know you don't mind if I talk off the cuff. No, Johnny, I want to learn about Kinki, the most interesting of the own. You really don't, though. Can I, can I just discuss this? A few of my friends are getting into the Dragon Ball franchise, which might, uh, confuse a handful of people watching these videos if you're of a similar, uh, age group to myself. But, uh, they decided to just watch every Dragon Ball film. And, uh, we made a startling discovery that, uh, the early dubs of Dragon Ball Z movies have the American new metal band Disturbed as the official soundtrack. Like, that's in the movie. It's rather strange. Anyway, that was the second stratum. We beat it, uh, pretty stinking fast. Now on to the third and final. This is, uh... A lot to deal with, so I will be making a uh, safety save in case I don't really like where the commentary is going and all that stuff. But this uh, segment of the game does give us early access to a very useful uh, fusion reagent, which is your lunger. And uh, your lunger's placement here, god dang it, I guess I'm going for that one, legitimately does confuse me. We are in the Demon King's castle. As you know, as I've said about a billion times, why are they going before me? <laughs> Get your maga out now if you want to live. What? Come on, come on, let's see you. No, shut up. Die, die, die. As we know, your longer is a being which is like above the idea of good and evil. The game itself says this. Oh, thank God, he did not die. I'm pretty sure it says this in SMT5. Where is this sucker? Lore, there it is. Yeah, a being that transcends good and evil. What are you doing aligned with all the chaos demons, your longer? Boy, are you crazy. There's a uh, special combo we can do with this guy, but it's uh, it's gonna take us a little while. But um, yeah, getting this demon. Oh, you're joking. Oh, this sucks, bro. Oh, okay, um, we'll deal with it. We still have access to no light affinity demons. I don't know why this is. This is not like just some like bit I'm doing where like, no, I will never follow Bethel. Like, dude, Bethel's got some good ideas and some not so good. Oh God, we're boned. Oh, come on, don't do that. Oh. As you can see though, Dear Rahan is a very good skill. I don't think this is up for debate. And eh, it's probably up to debate with some, but it's not that good. Healing yourself 100% of the time. <laughs> No, it's, it's very powerful, and uh, understandably, to balance this out, the MP cost is reasonably high, so that's one thing to consider if you're going for that, but I'm just trying to trim these numbers down so I'm gonna get your lunger. I do not believe I have a uh, G-Ray race demon to get our Magatsuhi, uh, what is the one called again? The one that helps us negotiate. God, I don't know. Uh, it's, all right, so we're eight out of 12 demons, that's fine. Hey, buddy. Things ain't looking too good, are they? Look here, Jump. Don't you know who I am? Uh... You're your longer. <laughs> what? No title. No respect. Where's this coming from? I'm Master your longer. That is not part of Aborigine lore, what? But it's weird. You talk to me like we're equals. Not used to that. Kind of nice. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I guess... He sees that as a sign of respect? Now let's see here. Oh, thank God. Okay, sweet. Dang, boy, you ain't cheap! What the dump? This is the longest negotiation we've ever had. Never heard that part of the song. I'm digging it. Ooh. All right, let's do that too. Oh my gosh. Would it have been, would it have been cheaper to summon from the compendium? Nah, not even if I had the uh, miracle for it. Anyway, not the uh, most exciting uh, <laughs> discussion with your longer there, but hey. Now he's a part of the team. Sadly, we do need a bunch of uh, other demons to create Hydra, but those are just like scattered about like various portions of, you know, dot. They're not hard to find like at all. So I'll be getting those uh, momentarily. And come to think of it, maybe instead of using the gospel, I will uh, just decide to grind up to level 53. I think I made a pretty good case for myself that like, yeah, in SMT5, you do not need to grind if you, you know, know what you're doing. I mean, you're never going to know that in your first playthrough, keep in mind, but I don't know. Like, 
I think the last grinding session we had was in front of the Daya building when we were about to fight Nuwa. God, that feels like a hundred years ago. Dude, look at you! You made it all this way! Does he impress you, Dazai? Then perish the thought of advancing, for the peril lying in wait would annihilate you. As for you, I will admit I did not expect you to make it this far. Clearly, I underestimated you. However, I've received word that all contact with the Dominion has been lost. Regrettably, this confirms my suspicions of the danger ahead. Brave though you may be, hone your wit to its keenest edge, should you intend to proceed. Dazai, now that you've confirmed his well-being, I advise you to return to safety. Okay, but... Uh, listen, Master Archangel? Once we take down the Demon King, Tokyo and the rest of the world will finally be safe, right? In that case, let me help. Even if it does mean putting myself in danger, I'll give it everything I've got. I understand you are eager to walk the path of righteousness in the service of our Lord. But good intent does not guarantee good outcome, does I? You are merely fodder for the Demon King's foot soldiers as you are now. Turning back here will surely save your life and ease the heart of your friend. Oh, I was hoping I could come with. But she's right. I'd only end up getting in your way. Guess I'll head back to the entrance and hold off any reinforcements. That ought to help some. Fear not. I shall escort him to the gate. You go on ahead, Nahobino. Muster your forbidden power to its full extent and vanquish our sworn enemy. How convenient. Oh, don't worry. I'll take him to the front door and take my time so the Nahobino will fight the Demon King all by himself. Yeah, I... Ugh. I get it. They didn't want... You know, her to steal the limelight and all that, but come on! <laughs> uh, just get- just, the ley lines are fine, he can use those, right? Maybe not, I didn't really think about that. He could definitely use the device in the die building, but... Anyways, uh, like I did mention before that little exchange, I'm gonna fight a couple of these year longer in... Preparation. Because, well, we're gonna need this EXP anyways, and that's not really something I should show on screen, so... Be right back after... Eh, beat up a couple snacks. What the? Uh, I didn't even know he could spawn here. Hold up. Okay, so uh, I, I needed to recruit it to Oberon anyways, but apparently he can appear alongside your longer. I guess you'll learn something new every day. Hey, dude. Join my team. Please. You must be new to the netherworld. One wonders... Whether you can be trusted. Uh, please trust me? What is it? Trust is not so easily obtained, yo. It must be earned. Won through countless trials and pains. Or you can just give me some money. Uh, just like this. What the? That, is li that literally makes no sense. Also, oh, what are you doing here? This is the Demon King's castle. Maybe he's house shopping. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that would make sense. He's probably getting tired of uh, the fairy force. All these goddamn trees. Gotta feed him every morning. Chase. Let's try that again. God, I really should get a G-Ray demon. Just make this a lot easier. I must say, I can feel my blood boiling tonight. Why do you suppose that is? Uh, high blood pressure? How can this be? So that's what it is? My doctor warned me this would happen. Perhaps I better go home and rest up. Oh my, F no, no! I guess we're gonna get him the normal way after all. Many rainbow snake kills later. We are level 53 on the main character, and I decided to feed a grimoire over to our Yurlunger, which we recruited, simply to inherit Resist Ice. This will be really solid to pass on to Hydra when we get to him. We're still not there, though, because I still gotta get stinking Oberon. You and your high blood pressure, get over here, turd. I didn't even do nothing, yo. Anyway, get him, boys. Oberon's always hanging out with a bad crowd. What's his deal? I don't get it. And I still did not get a G-Ray Race Demon to make this go easy, but oh well. 
Maybe this time things will go better. Uh, stop him. Yes. Hey, buddy. Chill out. Please. You needn't be so tense. I think we both know you want me on your side, yo. Yes. Do you care for a divination? Should I tell your future? Tell our future. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps we shall. After you've given me a little tribute. Oh my god, that actually worked. <laughs> For sure. Oh, dump! I don't have one! In that case, I guess you'll have to die. Oh god. That's a lot of maka. Alright, whatever. Jeez, they're stealing everything! Stinking gold diggers! I think that'll just about do it, yo. The pleasure is mine. I'm on your side and stuff. Let's let's do adventure. I don't know. I'm don't fuse me away instantly. Too bad. I find it kind of funny though, these uh, two demons combined are going to form a, uh, God, what's the Japanese word for it? Handsome dude? I don't remember. Anyways, Athena fuse Yoshitsune and Oberon to create a demon which legitimately does look like a fusion of the two. I guess uh, it got a similar-ish face? Not really, but we're going to take Yoshitsune, which has served us for so many episodes, my gosh, and Oberon, not so much, to create Kukulin, which is a demon I uh, have a big fan of. As far as skills, uh, we really just want him for that supercharged, like, Zondine. And if we can get that, that'd be great. But unfortunately, the Force Pleroma is a, it's a little bit in our future. Let's get um, Beast Eye, because that will help our uh, accuracy. And really, I just want him for Fatal Sword. That's a decent skill. I may actually get that on our uh, main character, come to think of it. But Pierce Armor is not bad. Do we need Masakunda or Restore? Restore is not bad. Man. They're so insignificant, it's hard to tell. But what I really want this guy for is his positive support skill affinity. Which I just think is really great. It is true we will miss out on the guaranteed crits of Yoshitsune, but we've been using him for so long now. Simply put, Good to meet you. that is not the voice I would have gave Kukulin. <laughs> Simply put, though, his level being 54, his physical attacks are going to do a lot more damage, and I don't really need charge, but I do need that forced Floroma. So in that case, I think we'll get rid of Retaliate, or no, let's get rid of Mazanma. I don't need that bull crap. Perfect. And there you have it. His uh, magic stat, not the highest. He's a kind of well-rounded demon, but I think we could all agree. He looks cool. Definitely one of my uh, favorite Kanako designs. Ugh, look at them boots, bruh. I think the kids say on fleek. Yeah. And if you're curious, here's his lore. He's just such a popular just character. You've probably heard of him by now. So with him out of the way, now let's focus on our next fusion, which sort of has us traveling all around the netherworld. So the first and uh, closest location, I guess, would be right here in Chiyoda. I'll go to Kondo no Yashiro, and there should be some Ortheris nearby. Getting them will be the hard part, though. I don't got no meats on me. The dogs like the meats. I guess I could feed him the, uh, you know, go oh god, that's awful. <laughs> I'm just saying, we have some fodder demons lying around. In case you're unlucky, like me, though, you may have to return to that leyline fount to get the Ortheris to respawn. If you're a higher level, they may likely run away. And Okay, we got two shots. Two heads, two shots. I like this. And in case, uh, you haven't noticed, I guess Ortheris is a part of the equation because, uh, it's got two heads. Hydra has multiple heads. It works. Do you want power? Yeah, why not? Then take my hand! Or my paw. Okay. Your hand's so dirty! You need to learn basic hygiene! I did not expect that outcome. I, uh, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what the dub? I, saw, I, th I thought low-level demon's supposed to join you easily. Never seen demon like you! Seems strange. Hmm. Uh, you're strange. Now, sit, boy. You're a beast, too? We should talk things out more. I think. Give me almost all of your life. That's a fair bargain. Makes sense. Just no, just no money, please. Okay, I gotta remember. There's a money chest back in the Demon King's castle. <laughs> if I pick that up, we might, we might be positive here. Give me almost all your life again. Okay. Please work. When we get to this phase, as long as you just keep giving them everything, should be fine. I'm Arthurus. The hunt is on. 
It's kind of funny. We just got another, we got two beasts back to back. The Hound, Kukulin, and also Orthrus. The uh, last demon we need to acquire can easily be found in Shinagawa, and that is an even lower level demon. It's Basilisk, everybody, so let's go grab him. From the Conan second block, Leyline Fount, if you just head south a little bit, you'll find Basilisk chilling in the corner. But this does give me a good opportunity to talk about another thing that makes Kukulin maybe worth potentially getting for you. I'll just skip my turns a little bit here to show this off. He is the first Gemma race demon that we've had a reason to use in our party. He does not hold you back. He can definitely hold his own in a fight. And if you've acquired enough Mimon and given them to Gustav, you will unlock the ability to use Omogatsuki Luck on Gemma race demons. And uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. In combination with race transcendence on your main character, you can get pretty substantial boosts to your EXP and Maka. It's still, like, way better just to go hunt for, you know, uh, Platinum Mitama. But uh, in case you don't feel like doing that, that's also an option. It can also be good to boost other demons. What is this chicken laughing about? <laughs> okay, we'll laugh with him. You make it fun of me, aren't you? Who did you say I am? <laughs> you chicken. <laughs> I mean, he is fusion material. I know what that means. It's a secret way to be reborn into a stronger character. I'm all right about getting stronger. Show me those demons. Lovely. Wow, none of these went bad. Except that first time with Oberon. Ah, oh, frickin' Omni Medicine. Crap. Uh, I, I was saying, anyway. Okay, he took the Life Stones as a sub. I guess that's enough. I'm basically so have some fun or whatever. Okay, I'm dead. I'm about to die, <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's true. And as you can see, uh, Kukulin getting a lot of action in this episode. No, I'm just kidding. There's a reason we're not using him, because, well, his time has not arrived yet. Anyways, World of Shadows, it's time, everybody, to make the demon we fought all those hours ago in Minato. Before we even knew it was Minato. It's Hydra, everybody. Is this a demon I recommend? No, but he is a new model, and I want to show him off, which is why I'm making him. He's of the Drake race, and he specializes, obviously, in physical attacks. He has that signature toxic breath attack, and we've already went over his mythology and all that. As far as actual skills I want to pass on, though, he's not really that good at magic. It's just not going to happen. 24 magic at level 53? It's just not what he's about. So instead, we have a uh, Dragon Eye, which boosts the chance of his attacks actually connecting. So skills like Axle Claw here actually aren't that bad to use. And even Crusher Onslaught has a place on this guy. Will we ever use, like, all of these skills? Definitely not. But, uh, oh, passing on Zeo down would also be a good idea. In case, you know, we run into an enemy that might have a weakness to electricity. It could happen. It's a possibility. But, uh, I also just really want to show off, like, some special combos with Hydra. And just, like, his scale in battle is really comedic. You gotta see it. He's kind of polite. He just says, well met. I respect that. But, yeah, he, uh... I'll be honest with you, he doesn't really have a place on our party. He's just sort of a gimmicky party member, and I kind of want to make him work. So that's what we're going to do. Now that our little vacation is done, though, it's back to the maze, baby! Woo! With our new team, I put in the biggest quotation marks possible because we lack any synergy at all of demonic Avengers assembled. It is time to resume our exploration of the third stratum. Now that, uh, yeah, I decided to make these demons, I'm gonna use them for, like, what, two fights? And, you know, maybe we'll use them for three, I don't know. But we've honestly been seeing a ton of Black Frost. I, uh, kind of feel bad. Like, come on, he's just so good. How can I not use the guy? In this battle, though, we will have, actually, have Lamu kill these guys. This is Flowers, another fallen angel who, uh, yeah, he's, his design is just kind of nuts. I never really processed what the frick he is. He has a sword where his head should be. The biggest shoulder pads I've possibly ever seen. Knuckles. Like, he's just, there's just so much going on with this guy. And I love him. As far as actual uh, history of, uh, you know, the demonic order goes, though, he isn't really exactly who he's supposed to be. You can see past and present and future, sort of like Ouroboros. But uh, outside of that, He's just kind of like a fire user, and that's not necessarily a part of his mythology, but we're gonna see a little bit of uh, Kukulin in here. These guys, also weak to ice. 
Come think of it, almost everything in here is weak to ice. Kind of odd. But I'm a fan of that. I do actually... Oh, God, he looks so cool. But he's so derpy. Oh, my God. Let's uh, try and go for Frenzy Chomp. It can work. It can be good. It's got a cool animation. Oh, he loves us. Anyways, will you join for free? No. He's in no state to converse. Well, I guess you'll have to die. He uh, doesn't have it on his person at the moment, but that demon does get a skill I'd rather want on... Oh! No way! Bro, I got it my first try. Let's go! That is so effing rare. Oh my gosh. I'm very happy about that. Dude. All right. So, uh, yeah. Critical Aura is very, very powerful. As you can imagine... Having your next attack be a guaranteed to hit and a guaranteed crit. Normally, we want to use charge, but this is actually more damage. I'm very happy I got this, but I almost don't want to use it because it's so strong. And sadly, yeah, you can't get Severing Bite from the skill. Otherwise, I would definitely use that. But uh, that's a good pickup. I'm a fan. And with that, we've pretty much seen every single uh, enemy we can see inside the Demon King's castle. So what do you say we just mosey on out of here? Is that cool with everybody? I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, we'll check out the gift shop. But past that, I mean, what's there left to see? Really not a lot. And I guess that is like my biggest uh, complaint, if I had to have one, about this place. It's just kind of red and bloody. That's it. The theming's not even that insane. I'm like, yeah, there's a couple of fallen angel demons, but like... A lot of Japanese yokai and kinky? What's he doing here? What's that story? Also, wait, never mind. The flower's essence is right there. Well, dump. I guess you can get two now. <laughs> As if you'd ever need that, but uh, yeah, it's just, there's something off about it, really. I, I, the more I've been thinking about it, I think my theory of uh, this just being like an area where they were testing, you know, the movement of their main character before they even have like a, uh, plot figured out like before that was even cemented this was the just play test area and they decided to be efficient about it and I, and I can't blame them for that video games very expensive to make especially nowadays but you got to hand it atlas man there's so many like companies that just hop on trends you know okay oh everybody's making mobas we gotta make one of them everyone's making this type of game we gotta hop on that and atlas doesn't really do that except for i guess like the rare time they made a phone game. Actually, that's not true. Alice made a billion phone games. But before that was like even the meta. You feel me? So this, the fact they just kind of been sticking to RPGs ever since like, you know, even the 80s. It's kind of admirable in a sense. Call it stubbornness or just sticking to what they're best at. I don't know which it is. Either way though, I'm happy because these games good. Decided to pick up those charge gems. You'll never know when you'll need them. But uh, I have to be on the lookout for that... Uh, money chest should be somewhere around here i know i'm missing like a few of the chests but i'm really just trying to get done this segment asap there's a lot i want to cram to this episode as per usual so uh don't mind me boys <laughs> i uh i feel kind of bad because like when you use the estoma thing every demon just pretends you do not exist so like we are missing potentially some animations like especially flowers when they charge at you and make that like sound it, i don't know it's just really like really intimidating which i guess is the point but yeah that's that segment now heads up this is the part uh apparently so infamously tough they had to nerf it quote unquote in a patch they didn't really nerf it though uh, at all in case you're curious i'll try to like give some plane of reference i gotta hustle though <laughs> basically they took two fans from this area and just remove them. Originally, there were fans on the northern segment and the western segment of this like cross in the center. What that does, I don't even know. And I play this game religiously, like legitimately. It's a uh, an odd change, but I guess they had some reason to do it. Now is the uh, actual puzzle though, which I mean, it's a puzzle. I'm gonna make it look, you know, pretty easy, obviously, because I've just done this like countless times and. Heck, you're probably going to do this countless times, too, if you're, you know, a completionist and you want to see every ending, which, you know, is understandable. That's a big appeal to SMT, seeing how things, uh, you know, how your interactions change the story and all that. Especially if you're trying to get all the compendium demons. Ooh, look out. 
be thorough, but uh, yeah, as a result, I've yeah, I've done this uh, segment uh, about uh, I don't know seven times, give or take. That's probably accurate. Does it honestly matter? Absolutely not. But uh, we're just gonna try and get done with this as quickly as possible. As I've mentioned before, there's just I don't know, not a lot to really discuss about that. I've found one cool optimization though. You can skip that little caddy corner there and shave off a little bit of time. Look out, world. The best RPG speedrunner in the world <laughs> is uh is coming. No, I'm just kidding. I do find uh, optimizing certain things though pretty uh inherently fun. For whatever reason, but uh this is the segment that really messed me up. So there's uh three you know, pentagrams, even though they're not pentagrams at all, because they don't have five shapes. Unfortunately, the uh, currents will only blow at a specific pattern, so the first one will blow first. But then, these other paths become available, and you actually want this first path right here. It's kind of hard to describe, but maybe this angle will help you out. Yeah, if you take that third one over there, it doesn't really lead to much, so it's... Not a good idea, necessarily. If I recall correctly, there was a uh, way to get blown to the very beginning, and that's what I think they changed in the update patch. Because, yeah, you could potentially get blasted there and then, like, taken back to the very beginning. I can understand the reasoning not want to do that, but, man, that's that old-school difficulty I stink in love. Anywho, that's the end of the Demon King's castle. Legitimately, we did it all. I did unfortunately miss that uh, money chest. I'll probably be showcasing that next episode, but yeah, we're here, the fourth stratum. As you can imagine, oh boy, Demon King's up ahead. Unfortunately, I still don't think we're prepared enough. You know what, I take it back. He does have an audience chamber. That is one castle-like thing. But since this uh, episode was so low on the actual like fights, boss battles, if you will, we might as well squeeze in one, like, you know, horseman of the apocalypse before we head out, right? To take on this next fiend of the apocalypse, obviously you'd have to beat the second, then just warp to the Akihabara Leyline Fount, fight off about, uh, I don't know, 16 million Anzu, or alternatively USS Selma, which I highly recommend, and yeah, the portal to our next uh, test of strength is right up here. However, I uh, do not think this is a good enough party to uh, even succeed. So I'm going to move things around a little bit. I, We really do not need Hydra. <laughs> so I'll put him in the back uh, just for a little bit so we can use Iden's buffs uh, at the very start. With that out of the way, let's get started and see what the third Horseman of the Apocalypse has for us. It's not very exciting being the third one, is it? It's kind of like middle child syndrome. Something to think about. I am a protector of the menorah. One of the four horsemen. Black Rider. Here, I will test thy strength. But be warned, those lacking will fall. The world is beyond their reach. Now, show me thy power. Bear thy very soul. Our next challenge, the Black Rider. The one to bring out pestilence and plague during the final days. And uh, in SMT5, that's the, foreign, the form of Legion, which I think is rather clever. But here's his signature attack. Atlas just keeps giving him. Glacial Blast can hit up to five times, and my god, we got a little unlucky there. Hit us four. Could have been worse, though. Anyway, it's uh, completely random, but we do have a workaround for this. My kind of grand strategy here is to simply lower the evasiveness of all the foes we fight in this battle. Simply put, they all have a multitude of multi-targeting attacks, and well, if one of those attacks misses, obviously, they lose some press turns, and well, that'd be okay by me. We're gonna use one golden apple, and it would not be an SMT5 episode without using Iden's unique attack. It's too effing good, but I can't stop myself. It's just so adorable. And then we're gonna get the heck out of here with uh, her. Uh, <laughs> we don't really need her for her 
combat prowess. She could potentially be good here if you she could survive, which is very unlikely, just given uh, what we're up against. But uh, fishing for damage, yeah, 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 we can do that. We'll just use another Zondino on the main body, which hopefully will, yeah, increase a little bit. You're gonna see, it doesn't look like he's doing like crazy damage at the moment, but that he needs some time to ramp up. You, you get it, you get it, right? Silt of Ruin, though, really helping us out, just doing almighty damage, spreading out uh, a little bit of hurt onto those legions and, you know, just buttering them up for next turn. Something which is honestly probably stupid and you should not do, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to burn a critical gem on Hydra here, so his next attack has a 100% chance to hit. I don't even care about the crit chance. I really don't. We just need his, that sucker to actually hit moves, which is a bit of a problem. We uh, lucked out here, uh, both Lamu and uh, Hydra. You're oh, thank God we dodged. Jesus. What is this crit chance? What are they doing? Oh my God. This sucks, bro. Okay. Um, What was I even talking about? All right. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, Hydra. He hits really hard, but his whole gimmick is, yeah, his moves are highly inaccurate. To get around this, you can simply use a critical gem. They have no chance of missing. And I hope I don't effing miss. God. Wrath of Tempest, we're going to hopefully, yeah, spread damage out a little evenly there. And then just keep trying to damage the main body with Zondines. I need to, uh, oh man, I want. I, I might not even need it. Hopefully I was going to uh, get a Rakunda up on the main body, but that may not be necessary. Reduce their chances of hitting us down to just three chances. Because, well, there's only one Legion left. What do we do here? Ideally, Axel Claw would be the most damaged, but it's just so random. But at least he can't miss. Ideally, we could get a lot of hits on the Black Rider, so let's hope for that. Come on! And none of them even connected. <laughs> Come on, Hydra! I'm really trying here, man. Whatever. Let's use uh, another turn for the main character just to get a Rakunda. I'm fairly certain that uh, Lamu's Wind Breath will actually just connect that way. Oh, we no, we'll, we'll lap around back to Hydra again. So yeah, we should ideally get that. Oh my god, we're not going to get it, are we? Hydra, I'll never talk crap about you again if you hit this next Crusher Onslaught. Please kill the other Legion. If he misses, it's whatever. I just prefer if he didn't. Hit it! Come on, Hydra, you got it! My man! All right, now you're seeing potentially what he can do, what he's about, and oh god, whoop. It was full while lasted! Oh my god, Hi did Hydra live? That's the skill which makes this fight a little difficult. Despite being level 52, they gave Black Rider access to Megidolon. I don't know why, they just kind of did, but surprising, I, th I think we can all agree, absolutely everybody, Hydra hung in there like a champ. Now it's just up to the rest of us to finish this guy off. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna come down to the wire. I uh, don't know if we can beat him this turn, but uh, if I can do this with a ragtag team, you can too. I guess that is the uh, lesson we're going to take away from this, which is not good at all. Um, if we miss here, it honestly would not be the end of the world. But at this point, you've pretty much seen everything that Black Rider can do. So part of me, I'm going to just try to hustle this up with another Wrath Tempest. Hopefully it connects. And down he goes. That might be our fastest fiend battle yet. My god. Kukalan definitely helped us out a lot there, God, with those, like, what, 400 damage Zondines? Jeez. We really needed him. <laughs> Fiend Black Rider. Status eliminated. And that's the third of the horsemen. That leaves just one. What will become of us once we've defeated all four? Well, I know one thing. There will be a lot of ponies without owners, so we should probably, you know, help them out. <laughs> but no, the uh, Black Rider, there's not a lot to say about him, really. I don't know. It's just kind of dies, which is a shame. But you can obviously just wall him off with, you know, demons like Black Frost or just absorb his glacial blasts. But when you get to that point, he kind of just begins to spam Megidolon, so... Gotta watch out for that. And if keep the legions around long enough, they'll continue to buff. And don't go too ham on your buffs either. You're just like, <laughs> I mean, have some buffs, but as you saw, like, yeah, if you get a plus two, he'll just use a spell and get rid of all of them. 
And with that, we're pretty much done with this episode, guys. A little on the chaotic side, but we reached the very end of the Demon King's Castle. And in the next episode of Shimagami Tensei 5, we prepare for the upcoming battle. Which, uh, yeah, I don't think Abdiel's coming back to help us out. So we might be by ourselves. Hey, can you shut the frick up, Danny? Try to do the outro, you... Thank you. Anyways, see you guys next time, all right? With, uh, our boss fight, which is not going to go well. Jesus Christ, we're so screwed. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but... Well, wish me luck. Bye.